As always, if you haven't read the question yet, please do so now before listening on. To begin this question, we can perhaps draw a simple picture that captures the information that's being described. So here we have shown the tennis ball initially moving with a speed of 50 meters per second to the right. It then hits a tennis racket and rebounds with a final velocity of negative 40 meters per second. This is very important. You'll notice that we put a negative sign on the 40, and that's because the velocity must include the direction. When the ball is moving to the left, the direction is considered to be negative. And so we cannot use positive 40 meters per second. That was only the speed. We have to make sure we include the negative sign so that we turn that speed into a velocity. Now for part A, in order to calculate the impulse, we can recall that impulse is equal to the change in momentum of an object. Notice that we can rewrite the change in momentum as the mass times the change in velocity. This Vf minus Vi is essentially a delta V. So we're going to rewrite that because we know the final velocity and we know the initial velocity as well as the mass of the ball. So we've plugged in the known values. Notice again the final velocity has a negative sign on it. And when we compute that impulse, we can see it turns out to be negative 5.4, and then the unit is kilograms times a meters per second because we're multiplying a mass times a velocity. Now the negative sign indicates that the overall direction of the impulse is to the left in our diagram. Another way of saying that would be that the impulse is 5.4 kilogram times meters per second in the direction of the final velocity. So the final answer for the impulse will be 5.4 kilogram times meters per second in the direction of the final velocity of the ball. We can move on to part B now. Now for part B we can use the work kinetic energy theorem where we know that the work is equal to the change in kinetic energy of the tennis ball. We can replace the change in kinetic energy with the following expression. This expression for the change in kinetic energy was probably learned in a previous chapter. We can just go ahead and plug in the mass, the final velocity, and the initial velocity. And when you simplify that on your calculator, you should get approximately negative 27.0 joules. And that would be the correct answer for the work that the racket does on the ball. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you'd like to, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen, and I will do my best to post a video solution to it on YouTube.